Are you positive this is a shortcut? Oh, would you relax? I don't remember ever seeing this road on the map before. I've been driving this road for years. Haven't crashed once. It doesn't look very safe to me. You're in good hands with me, honey. It's time for Amazing Sports Bloopers 2. So make yourself comfortable. Grab yourself a delicious hamburger. Quench that unquenchable thirst. And enjoy the show. Hi everyone and welcome to Amazing Sports Bloopers 2. I'm your host Jay Johnstone and I've been known as the kind of guy who really likes to have a good time. And here I am in beautiful Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, home of the Philadelphia Phillies, a team I used to play for several years ago. In fact, I used to play under a manager named Danny Ozark, a guy I kind of drove half crazy most of the time. I can remember a story when Danny was looking for me to pinch hit and I was out helping one of the guy's wives who had a flat tire in a parking lot and he got really upset and I never could figure out why. But nonetheless, this place really brings back a lot of great memories. I mean, the Boas, the Schmitz, the Lezinskis, the Carlton. Oh, a lot of party atmosphere, partying in a clubhouse, really a super time. But speaking of that, we got a video to do, so let's get in the party mood and do it. We ready, guys? Everybody's ready to go. He's ready to go. I'm ready to go. And you're ready to go. So let's do it then. Now that we're loose, we can start horsing around. And they're off. They're all going for the lead. Some of them are going for the lead. You've seen one, you've seen them all. I can see is a bunch of tails for going in and out. The jockeys, I can hardly see them over there. I wish they were a little bit taller. Enough silliness. It's time for Hoop Party USA. Here we go. The blizzard has hit the floor. They call it the blizzard. Here, they do the hustle, they do the bustle, and they always seem to be able to get out of a jam. Yeah, basketball can be a topsy-turvy world filled with emotion. Did I say emotion? I meant motion. The Sal basketball coach Speedy Morris has a unique style of coaching, but it's his style of dressing that really interests me. As you're about to see, Speedy Taylor is a very busy man. Such is the tenacity of Speedy Morris on the bench that he has ripped his pants. Coach, you ripped your pants, coach. Thank you. Okay. He says I ripped my pants. 
This is the amazing, unbelievable, unrepeatable, once in a lifetime sports play section of our video. We begin with a punt that goes five yards long, 20 yards high, and right into the hands of a waiting teammate who runs it in for a TD. This is the old throw the ball, get it batted back to you, catch it, and run it in for a touchdown. Here's a shot that defies description. Up, over, and in. And another shot that boggles the mind. Right, coach? Watch this, boo boo. To the 40. Football! Picked off in midair by Texas. And on the run to the 30. And the Longhorns down to the 10. To the 5. Touchdown! This ping pong point is enough to make you dizzy. play section be without a few long distance connections. One second. And finally the most amazing play of all. Davida Barnes loses control and he's it up and in. Now that is truly a once-in-a-lifetime basket. Pretty amazing stuff, huh? To borrow a phrase from one of ESPN's most famous college announcers, it was unbelievable, incredible, amazing, super, scintillating. Did I forget one? Sensational! Oh yeah, thanks, Dick. Awesome, baby! Enough, cut, cut, enough already. That was Dick Vitale, folks, in case you've been hiding under a rock somewhere. But now it's time to take a trip around the country in search of bloopers from the entire world of sports. And just in case you doubt our staff's ability to gather this weird and wacky stuff, the bloopers you're about to see include fencing, horse racing, rodeo, sheep riding, uh, ice skating, women's basketball, high school football, horse jumping, uh, women's softball, college football, men's softball. How do they get it all? I don't know. They just pay me to stand up here and talk. And since I'm done, I'm going home, so I'm out of here. See you later. Ouch! What's wrong with my voice? You know, it's tough enough riding one of these bucking broncos, but it's even tougher when the bucking bronco is hungry. Just so happens this one is starved. Remember wrong way Roy Regals? He owned a horse. I said out, and I mean out. And don't come back! Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Why is it that some kids always seem to be in the wrong place at the wrong time? After getting popped in the nose, young Johnny gets popped in the head. And here's the fish. Strike one, Whipley hitting point .003 this year. Here's the delivery, strike two. Whipley has a tough time hitting fastballs. And sliders, curves, and change-ups for that matter. Hey, hey, boo-boo, this beat's stealing people's picnic baskets, huh? Uh-oh. Violate the half two. No sex, please. Out of the pocket now, ready to challenge. Final 16th, Keister continues to lead it. No sex, please, on the outside. No sex, please. Getting up. And the sprinklers are on. I love it. <laughs> hey, I really got my hats off to the Spartans. This guy's hat's off, too. A routine play at shortstop. She's out, down, and dirty. Now watch the receiver. He misses the ball, and in his frustration, he decks his own teammate. 
Ha, ha, ha. Fooled ya. This horse gets a little spooked. Whiffley has not made contact today. He's 0 for a 3 with 3 strikeouts. Fouls that one off down the first baseline. After one inning, the score is 3 to nothing. That 3 is always stuck. He'll need a hammer and chisel to move that baby over. Does this remind you of Unitas to Barry or what? An onside kick that goes 11 yards backwards. I know it seems impossible, but Whipley's batting averages dropped from .003 to .001 today. Strike two. Whipley says he's been working with his batting coach, his brother, who also happens to be a part-time security guard. For You're gonna win that ball game, Uncle Sam. So pitch that cannonball the way you can. It's foul. It's fair. You it's fair. Oh, oh, just it. wait till that ninth inning. You can finish what they all began. Your team is all behind you to the man. So keep your bat and make that home run slam. Keep the bases loaded till your hits have all exploded. You're gonna win that ball game, Uncle Sam. Show the axis how we play. In the good old U.S. way, you're gonna win that ball game on those stands. I've been doing sports blooper shows for a long, long time, and I've seen thousands of funny plays, but that has to rank right up there with the all-time greats. Congratulations to center fielder Rodney McRae. You are now a charter member of my sports blooper Hall of Fame. You know, I used to host a show on ESPN called The Lighter Side of Sports. And on The Lighter Side, we used to have guests come on and tell some great stories. Well, watching that center fielder crack through that fence put me in an award-giving mood. So here are my Lighter Side Awards. The best one-liner belongs to former heavyweight boxing champion Larry Holmes. When you take a hike and go visit the guy upstairs, uh, how do you want the people out there, your fans of the world, to remember you? First, uh, first of all, I want them to remember me as one of the longest living person on earth. <laughs> Amen, Larry. The best Earl Weaver story goes to Bob Costas, who told us about the time Orioles player Pat Kelly, a born-again Christian, confronted Weaver. And Pat Kelly, who was a reserve outfielder, was a very religious man born-again Christian, and you know how profane Earl could be. I mean, every other word was, you fill in the blank. And the Orioles are in a slump, and they're losing in the late innings, and he's walking up and down the bench, cursing everybody and everything. And he picks up a bat, and he runs it along the top of the bench and scatters all the batting helmets that are lined up there, and players are all diving for cover, and they're all looking at the dirt. They don't want to make eye contact with Weaver. And suddenly, Kelly has a burst of courage, and Pat Kelly stands up and he says, Earl, I'd like to see you walk with the Lord. And the entire bench falls silent. And Weaver looks at him and says, Pat, I'd rather see you walk with the bases loaded. <laughs> and the best growing up story goes to Marvis Fraser, who had to face Papa Joe after he hit his sister Jackie. Lyle Alzado hosted. He came in and I was pretending like I was asleep. Boom, the door slams open. Get up, boy, you ain't asleep. I'm like, <laughs> he says, what was this I hear about you hitting Jackie? I was playing, Daddy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean <laughs> Oh, no. Nah, I done told you about hitting your sisters. When Daddy's gone, you're supposed to take your, you protect your mother and your sisters. Now, put on these gloves. Oh, Daddy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Let's go down to the to zoo. Oh, he brought you downstairs? Uh, right, so he took the... me downstairs. Put on these gloves. So he put the gloves. I'm like, Dad, I didn't mean it, Daddy. I'm sorry. And I, he, he has his gloves. He's like, I'm going to teach you not to hit your sister. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. And then he says, what's the matter? You can't fight? And you know, when, you, when, you, when you're 12 years old, or somebody call you, you know, a sissy or something, right. you're like, ah. So I said, he said, what, you can't fight? I said, ah. He said, oh, you want to hit your father, huh? <laughs> I've always thought that boxers make the best guess. They all seem to be natural showmen, and most of them seem to wear their emotions on their sleeves, like this fighter, Ray Ray Gray. They don't have anything on them. Oh. Ray Ray Gray nearly knocked out his opponent, but it's his post-fight interview that really packed the punch. 
I train hard for Charles Campbell. He's a very good fighter, very good fighter. He's difficult, but uh, as you see, I beat him, and I'm, I'm so full of joy. <laughs> I ain't got that much to say, but what I like to say is, yeah! This is one of my favorites. He's down, but he still gets hit. Then it happens again. The guy who's being beaten really has no recourse. What's he supposed to do? Punch him? One more time. But hey, he didn't mean it. Hey, I didn't know the guy, I didn't know the guy was down until uh, the rough stuff in. Yeah, right. Nice balance, buddy. right along. some sports odds and ends that are truly forgettable. The man who catches this ball has a funny name. Olati Day Ugun Fitami. Who? Forget it. Not interested? Okay, maybe this will get your attention. What? Aha! You like that. One thing about this coach is he's a calming influence in the world of chaos. I'll miss, uh, can I uh, please have that trash can? Thank you. And can you guess who this humongous high school hoop player is? Dick Vitale would call him a space eater. I'd call him a big eater. He calls himself William the Refrigerator Perry. Now, from our home video file, a few noteworthy clips. This base runner gives a new meaning to the term stretching a single. Now, this looks like fun. Whatever you do, buddy, don't look at the camera. I warned you. This sport has to do wonders for the feet. And the back, and the head, and the arms. Excuse me, sir. You have any idea of what you're doing out there? All right, here's your big moment. Ah, uh, you blew it. Hey, are you having fun yet? It hurts just watching. Now here's something every mother should have their child try at least once. Sheep riding. And finally, KATU TV got a hold of this beauty. Watch the guy on the sideline make this tackle. If you have a sports home video that you think is funny, entertaining, or amazing, please send it in to us at Sports Bloopers 2, P.O. Box 2196, Ballot Kinwood, PA, 19004. If it's funny, we'd love to use it for our next sports blooper video. So to borrow a phrase from another ESPN College Hoops announcer, send it in! Thanks, Bill. That's Bill Rafferty. You know, it's not easy doing what I'm doing, and the 20 takes prior to this are the proof of that. 
Fortunately for me, no one will ever see my mistakes. But for these next announcers you're about to see, they aren't so lucky. Sometimes a broadcaster is interrupted by friendly fans. Sometimes a broadcaster is held up by a technical problem. Put something in the box. Can I get something in the box? Jeez. Chris McClure solves his problem by filling in the box with his face. Sometimes flies make uninvited appearances. The boys state basketball tournament in Austin later this week. The Mustangs, I've got a little uh, company here. The Mustangs are... And some people might argue that broadcasters are all wet. Whoa! <laughs> what you're about to see may never be seen again. David Harlock with the slash. That's the original penalty. Five on four. So we got a five on four. 33 slash goes up, the others are coincidental. I made a boo-boo last night. <laughs> hey, don't save confess that. anything. Save that. that. <laughs> He's got a breakaway, he shoots, and he, what do you call that? Whatever it is, they love it. Now step to the far side of SEA. Shot back in, there goes Mazzotti. <laughs> He slams him into the turnbuckle, and the Hulkster loves it. Right, Tenere, pass to score! Oh, what a play! I'll wake up today and put on a clown suit and go out and taunt some bull. Come on, guys. Give me a break. I mean, give me a break. What kind of job is this? Who does this stuff? Yo, Mom, when I grow up, I want to be a clown who taunts bulls. Yeah, it's a, it's a great job. Yeah, sure. It's a great job. I mean, we taunt them to the point where they get real mad, and then they try and gore us. You know, sometimes they hurt us real bad. Yep. Yep, that's what I want to be when I grow up, a clown who goes out and agitates the bulls to get gored to death. Mm-hmm, sure. Since I've always been somewhat of a prankster, my hat's off to the Canadian footballers who got their friend and teammate a little hung up. I tried to stop him. Hey, hey, hey! Each and every one of these guys, when they least expect it, and I didn't do it, but they got it. Your clothes are going. I can't believe that you'd be doing. You'd be threatening me in a situation. Yeah! Oh, I didn't see him coming. <laughs> now that guy's really got a lot of hangers. <laughs> and you gotta respect the courage of some of those rodeo cowboys we saw earlier. You know, we're not too sure about what's going on up here. Some wires crossed, some equipment missing, elevator doesn't go to the top floor, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's take a ride up north and check out one of their national games, Canadian football. If you ever feel like taking a trip, just pick up the phone, call up some friends of yours, take time out, and prepare to flip over the border into Canada for some real crazy football action. That's a good start, Moresco.
For sheer football hysterics, this final seconds call by Bob Eufer is the all-time classic. more we can add. So for everybody here at Amazing Sports Bloopers 2, I'm Jay Johnstone and we'll see ya.